Sassini guys, it's your girl Vian and welcome to my space. If you've been here before, you know how we do it. And if you're here for the first time, Karibu Sana, if you don't know what that means, it means welcome. Well, today we're doing yet another tutorial. It's gonna be the feed in braids. Well, I know most of you have been trying to do this, but it's not easy because there's the actual way of doing it, the original way of doing it, and not everyone can do it. So I came up with a new and simpler way of doing it, and I know you're gonna love it. Sit back, relax, enjoy this video, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your people, with your friends, family, sisters, brothers, cousins, you know how we do it here. And please do not forget to subscribe. See ya. Yo guys, you know on this channel we are always having beautiful visitors. Here's another beautiful face that we are gonna work on today. For this hairdo we are gonna be using uh, the normal braid and we're using the brand Avis today apply oil on your braid to avoid shade off and a lot of you know wastage like I said guys on in the intro there's the original way of doing the feed in braid which is hard if you're not used to doing hair that way so I'm gonna show you a different method which is easier for people who do not know how to do it direct. So we are sectioning the hair. We want only five uh, cornrows of the feed-in braid. Now we're going in with our braiding gel. Use the gel of your choice guys. This is my favorite so yeah. You'll always do this when I'm using a braiding gel. So apply the braiding gel on only the roots of the hair. Dust the roots. If you apply up to the ends of the hair, it's going to freeze. So only apply the root, guys. Once done with that, now start making small sections. And the first section on the hairline after sectioning it don't touch it just leave it there we're gonna go we're gonna come back to that now go to the next section after partitioning that section braid it Now you're going to continue this procedure, making smaller sections and braiding them until you finish that whole line, guys. And also one thing I need you to understand is that this process takes a longer time to do the hair. So when charging, please make sure you don't undercharge because you're going to spend so much time doing this. Hairdo. For us, it took us about three hours, and you see, it's only five cornrows, and they are going backwards. So you can imagine when you're doing an updo, it's gonna take a longer time. But this was inclusive of shooting, too, guys. So if I were to take off the time that I spent uh, setting the camera and shooting, it could be about two and a half hours to three hours. Once done with that procedure, this is how the hair will look like. Now, you come in with your gel, uh, apply on that hairline for neatness. Now come in with your braid again. And I hope you have uh, split your braids into small sections because you're gonna go as you add. Just watch what we're doing. You start with a small braid and keep on adding as you go. Now watch the video, I think that will explain better than what I'm saying. Once 
yeah this is what we meant by adding the braid as you go keep on adding it as you go downwards See how neat that looks guys so at the back again keep on adding the braid depending on the length that you want so as we wanted a length that reached the um, waistline so I added up to the waistline guys I also decided to add a small cornrow just between the two feeding just to spice it up now I'm gonna go to the next feeding line guys and as you know on this channel we are always about neatness so make that line neat then repeat the same process you did on the first one the first section don't touch it leave it we're gonna come back to it then make other smaller sections and start braiding them As you can see this is an easier way of doing the feeding though it takes a longer time compared to the original way of doing it yeah so whichever suits you just go with it for those who know how to do it directly the original way kudos because that thing ain't easy You can see how neat the section looks now repeat the same process we did on the first one come in with your small braids and start braiding the cornrow downwards as you add the braids as you go I don't have much to say it's all about watching and getting it 
not much to explain about the hairstyle. I think I already have more than enough. It always melts my heart when I see my work is going on well and I'm loving the results. See guys, isn't it so neat? Now, let's get to the final uh, cornrow because we've already done the four cornrows. We are on the last one, which is the fifth one. I'm hoping that you're loving the progress. Also guys, I beg that you forgive my manners. I know I've not been draping my clients. I left my draper at work then corona happened so i haven't had time to go pick my draper that i have not been draping my clients so please forgive me just ignore that part ignore that i'm not draping clients and also guys if you've noticed on my tutorial i always do my best not to pull my clients hair because i never want people to go having headaches from my services so yeah even from the bob forelocks that some of you are asking if it's painful it wasn't i always try to come up with uh, ways of not pulling the client and still have a neat look And you know when I'm done, I always come back to lay the edges. This is a must, guys, for neatness. <laughs> Now on to the makeup, straight to the eyebrows. I've already done the first eyebrows. Now let's start filling in the second eyebrows. We're gonna draw and then fill in. If you've been here, I know by now you get the rhythm and you know how we do it. So basically I'll be like repeating myself. We're gonna go in with a pro conceal, lighter shade and a darker shade. One for the lower brow, the darker one for the upper brow. Yep. And don't you just love the fact that when people come to this channel, they walk out with they walk out with full services. We make your hair and you also live with your face fixed. Now today on the eyebrows, um, on the eyes, sorry, I'm gonna be trying a bold look. Guys, I've never done a red eyeshadow on anyone. This is gonna be my first time doing a red eyeshadow and I'm really, really, really excited and at the same time I'm panicking because I don't know how the results are going to be. So once we're done creating this look, I need you to come to the comment section and let me and uh, let me know what you think about the red eyeshadow well when doing the eye uh, eyeshadow guys if you realize your eyeshadow is not uh, pigmenting well while you're using the brush you can use your hands to tap on the eyeshadow and tap it on the eyes this is a new hack thank me Thank me. Thank me. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. Today I'm just bored because, yo, I've explained all these things from previous videos. Now, I, I literally don't have anything to say. So let's have fun. We are going in with a white eyeshadow for that corner of the eye. So, yeah, concentrate. Don't mind me. Concentrate. Now we're using a brown um, eyeshadow for this wing part. Now 
now we are going in with the fit me maybelline foundation in the shade 335 wow i love that match it is matching her skin tone and i'm just in love with it now next we are highlighting the necessary parts under the eyes under the, on the chin under the nose and on the forehead and on the nose then we come in with our damn beauty blender and blend those highlighted places now let's bake those areas and uh, and after some few minutes come in with a clean brush and dust off the excess powder And guys, if you always get the shades right, it will not be necessary for you to touch the neck. As you've noticed on my videos, I rarely touch a client's neck because I'm always getting the shades right. Unless you have different pigment pigmentation, it is when it will be necessary to touch the neck to make sure it matches the face. Another hack, if you happen not to have a blusher, you can use, you can mix uh, the shades on your eyeshadow palette to create your blush. As you see what we're doing here, we are creating a blush from the eyeshadow palette that we have. Now let's contour that nose. Forgive my lighting guys, I'm using the natural light so when the sun comes out you're seeing my lighting is perfect, when it goes away the lighting is messed. Now here we were doing the liquid liner. I always love to come back with a very light eyeshadow shimmer on the brow bone just to make the eye eyebrows pop. Next, we're gonna go in with a pharmacy bronzer to highlight the cheekbones. Next is one of my favorite parts, fixing the eyelashes because it transforms the look. I'm not sure what Lippy to do. Should we do this bright red or that dark red or this maroonish purplish? Now let's settle for the dark red. Aww. Now using the Pharmacy Mascara, let's brush those lower lashes. And of course the final part, let's set that face using the Prep and Prime by MAC. Yes guys, there goes our final look, there goes our makeup with the bold eyeshadow and lips and there goes our feed in braids. Hope you love this tutorial, hope you're impressed, hope it was worth the wait. The wait. <laughs> Isn't she pretty? Oh look at those eyes, look at that hair, oh guys, I'm just humbled. So I hope you loved that tutorial. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and share with as many people as you can and see you on my next video. Lots of love. Mwah.